The idea of an organic grocery chain seems kind of contradictory. Something that feels by definition small and local just doesn't seem to make intuitive sense when you expand it to a large scale. And yet, one of the toughest challenges to the sustainable food movement, which seeks to source food from local organic farms and growers, has been that small scale keeps prices high and supplies uncertain. So can the two competing forces of corporate size and efficiency and ma and pa quality be balanced? The answer lies in the organizational structure of the business. Whole Foods Market is a supermarket chain that specializes in fresh organic produce from local sources. As an international business with locations in the US, the UK, and Canada, they have a large operation to watch over and a very specific mission to uphold, which is to sell the highest quality natural and organic product available to their customers. The company started when John McKay and Renee Lawson borrowed money from friends and family to open a small natural food store. It would actually become their home for a while after they were evicted from their apartment for storing some of their grocery stock there. After taking on a couple of partners and merging with the Clarksville Natural Grocery Store, the founders had a decent sized organization given that they were only a small local business. But soon after the most devastating flood in 70 years hit Austin, Texas, damaged the store and equipment and their produce and inventory. Only through the good offices of their customers and community did a massive cleanup effort fix the damage and save the store. We were just amazed and surprised and overwhelmed by the outpouring of support from the community, uh, from our customers, from our team members. And um, basically what our, our customers told us is that they love Whole Foods Market. The company has never forgotten that lesson that having a local grassroots structure sensitive to even drastic and sudden changes in the business environment can keep an organization nimble and responsive. As it's grown to over 380 stores and over 80,000 team members, Whole Foods has to structure the business in a way that's both respectful of its size and scope and mindful of its roots. In the early days of the company, when the staff was small, everyone pretty much did every job. But that generalization had to change as the company grew and opened more stores. They had to divide the labor between the four partners, with each specializing in one or more of the tasks critical to the business. Think about it this way. Just like a grocery store has a produce department, a meat department, and a baked goods department, each specializing in a specific type of food, a growing company has departments that specialize in things like finance, human resources, and sales. With each partner becoming the leader of a particular department, they hired additional staff to do the heavy lifting for the company, fleshing out their organizational chart until Whole Foods looked like a big company on paper. Now, this raised new challenges and questions. Should they centralize supply in warehouses? Or should they have separate local suppliers in each region where they had stores? And should they pass down a very rigid operating procedure or let each store have its own flavor at the risk of losing the greater Whole Foods brand unity? How do we uh, sustain our core values, our culture, and the essence of who we are as a company in the face of our rapid growth? The, the key pillars that support the answer to that question are really around ensuring that we, we stay true to our values, that we do what we say we're going to do, that we continue to have the kind of integrity in, uh, uh, that we do in our products, that we uh, continue to make uh, deep and far-reaching commitments to supporting our communities, uh, supporting our environment. What is the right way to organize a growing company? Henri Fayol tried to answer such questions of structure at the turn of the 20th century in his book, General and Industrial Management. Fayol introduced the concept of employees reporting to only one manager and holding the goals of the team as more important than the goals of the individual. Max Weber expanded this idea further to insist on more bureaucracy, job descriptions, consistent procedures, and codified policies. Should Whole Foods embrace one of these ideas or create something completely different? They decided on a strategy of decentralization. This was a command decision dictated from the top down by executive management for the whole organization to follow. But it's one of the few decisions Whole Foods Market has made that way. More often, they use consultative decision making, which includes input from all senior managers and executive staff, for example, when hiring key management level personnel. But the majority of Whole Foods decisions are made by consensus, that is, by all levels of the group, 
And together, the company agrees that most decisions should be left to local managers and store operators. This, in turn, makes each store more responsive to local challenges like economic trouble or natural disasters. I was uh, deeply involved in responding to the Hurricane Katrina, for example. We had trailers on site within days, generators on site within a day. Uh, not only were we uh, very actively um, engaged in getting our stores back online, but we were feeding the community. We were uh, supporting the folks who were getting uh, New Orleans back online. We were able to do it so quickly, we were doing it before anybody else was doing it, other retailers were doing it because we were decentralized, because we didn't need permission from the global office, uh, so to speak, to go do that. It was a regional decision, uh, it was a regional effort, and you know, because of that, we were able to move incredibly fast and uh, not only uh, get our stores back up and running quickly, but also uh, support the community in a really meaningful and deep way. To stay responsive to market changes, each region has its own manager and the autonomy to make certain decisions about supply sources and pricing based on the needs of that region. It costs more to have so many managers duplicating work, but it gives Whole Foods the flexibility to adapt to important changes without having a huge bureaucracy in the way. Decentralized buying is harder to control, but it assures varied nearby sources of supply and it serves as an investment in keeping local communities stimulated by the business conducted by each store. Whole Foods Market's size allows it to shift resources from neighboring regions to combat growers and variances in the availability of their supplies by investing directly in those businesses. Their Whole Planet Foundation, for example, makes microloans to local farmers, keeping local produce suppliers plentiful and financially resistant to problems. Whole Foods has a unique structure of four separate hierarchies, store employment, facilities employment, regional offices, and global headquarters, each emphasizing strong vertical communication with the greater company, but with the autonomy to make decisions on the regional level. Of course, all this specialization and decentralization means that each regional manager must be knowledgeable on local suppliers and customer demands. But that's always been the heart of Whole Foods culture keeping their finger on the pulse of the community. No, you can't teach a store about forging great relationships with local organic farmers or mom-pa bakeries from a central headquarters. But when you've got the fresh, friendly atmosphere of a Whole Foods market and a deeply committed team that's connected to the community by an intimate corporate culture, you really wouldn't want to ruin that with a lot of bureaucratic controls anyway, would you? The heart of the company uh, is, is built on our core values satisfying and delighting our customers. We care about team member happiness and excellence. Uh, we sell the highest quality natural and organic products available. Um, we care about our communities and environments. Uh, we promote the health and well-being of our stakeholders and so on. And, and the, these values are essential to uh, Whole Foods Market. Whole Foods Market continues to grow and expand around the world while managing to keep what's unique about their culture and pure about their mission, which is focusing on great natural sources at the local level. It's a neat little trick of structure that keeps a large company true to its original mission in that first little store in Austin, Texas. Part of why being decentralized works so well for us is that we're a very innovative company and uh, great ideas come from our team members. It comes from the stores and because we're regionalized, uh, we're able to act on those without uh, getting permission from the global office.